Welcome to our channel. Today's session I am going to discuss about one is the DMUX program using data flow model. So before I start to write the program, first I recall the term DMUX. So what is DMUX? So DMUX in the sense it has a single input and it releases the multiple output based on the selection type. First I draw the block diagram. Block diagram of DMUX. It is a one list of eight DMUX. So this one represents for input. So D in data in it releases eight outputs. D not D one D two D three D four D five D six and D seven. So it releases eight output. Based on the selection lines. So here we have three selection lines: yes not, yes one, and yes two. So based on these three values, the input. Based on these three selection lines, the input is connect to any one of the output lines. Now write the truth table. Data in, then selection line S two, S one, and S not. Then I the output D seven, D six, D five, D four, D three, D two, D one, D not. So let us consider data in S one. So the set. This value set to be one. Then selection line. So first combination, all the bits are set to be zero. So in this case, input is connected to D naught. So this D naught bit set to be one. Remaining all the bits goes to zero. The next one zero zero one. So in this case, D one one. Remaining all the bits goes to zero. Zero one zero. So here D two one. Remaining all the bits goes to zero. Zero one one. Now D three one. Remaining all the bits goes to zero. One double zero. So D four one. Remaining bits goes to zero. One zero one, D five one. Remaining bits goes to zero. One one zero, so D six one. Remaining bits goes to zero. One one one, D seven one. Remaining bits goes to zero. So this is the truth table for a D box. So based on the truth table, we can draw the logical diagram. We draw the logical diagram for uh, D max. Logical diagram. So inputs of D in selection lines S two, S one, and S not. So this line is input line. So this S two is the selection line. The next one is inversion of uh, S two, S one, not of S one. Then S not, not of S not. So complement of S not. So first combination is S two, S one, and S not. Both the values are zero. So I will take here. The connection I will take here. Then D in the output of the AND gate is D not. So in this combination, D in is connected to D not. The next combination zero zero one. So zero zero one. Then D in value. 
output is d1. The next one 0 1 0. So 0 1 0 data in is 4 inputs connect to third AND gate. Output of the AND gate is d2. Then fourth one 0 double 1. So S0 value 1, S1 value 1 and S2 value 0. D in output is D3. The next one, S0 value 0, S1 value 0, S2 value 1, then D in. So output is D4. The next one 1 0 1. So S0 value 1, S1 0, S2 1 and D in value. So output is D5. The next one 1 1 0. So S0 value 0, S1 1. S21 and D in value. Output is D6. And final combination is all the bits of 1, 1, 1. So S01, S11, S21, D in value 1. Output is D7. So this is the simple logical diagram for 1 is A, D must. So this logical diagram is converted into very low catch here. Using this logical diagram, now I am going to write the program. So, as usual, first write module, then module name 1 to 8 D marks, then declaration of variables. So, how many variables used in the logical diagram? So, in this logical diagram, we are using multiple variables D in S2, S1. S0, D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. So these are the variables used in the logical diagram. So next step, you declare which are the variables is used for the input value and which are the variables assigned for output. So declaration of input. So input saw D in input data S2, S1 and S0. So these four variables assigned as a input value. Then next one output. So declaration of output variables. Remaining these eight variables declared as a output variables. D0, D1, D2, D3, D4. D5, D6, D7. So, so far you declare the module, module name and what are the variables used in the logical diagram. Then among this variable, which variable is used for input and output variables. Then next step, assign. So, this assign represent for data flow model, assign D0. So, D0 is a output how you get this output. So, I have the operation of these four inputs. So, first write the input value D in. So, this one is a D in. Then, S0. So, this one is a S0 bar. So, this one S1 bar. This one S2 bar and D in. So, I have the operation of these four variables. You can get the output D0. So, here D0 equal to D in and operation of, so this value is S2 bar, so not of S2 and operation, then next one, not of S1, so not of S1 and operation, not of S0, so not of S0. So, first output assign over, then next variable d1. So, d1 equal to here d in. So, this value is 
S naught. So this one, S one bar, this one, S two bar. You just write the equation here. D in and operation not of S two and operation not of S one and operation S naught. So now D one function over. Then you take D two. So this one is the D two here. The inputs are D in, then S two bar, here S one, then here S naught bar. So D in value and operation with S two bar not of S two and operation S one. And operation not of S naught. Then D three. So this D three function inputs over D in. Then S two bar S one S naught. So first you write D in and operation with S two bar and operation S one. And operation S naught. The next output function D four. So in this D four function, the inputs are D in, then S two. Here S one bar, here S naught bar. So D in and of S two and operation with Not of S one and operation with not of S naught. Then D five. So in this D five function, input D in and S two here S one bar then S naught. So the function is D in and operation with S two and operation. With not of S one and operation S naught. Then D six. So at this D six function, input over D in S two S one S naught bar. So D in and operation with S two and operation with S one and operation with not of Yes, no. The next one, D seven. <coughs> so this is the lost IAM gate. So input signals are D in, S two, S one, and S naught. So D in, and operation S two, and operation S one, and operation S naught. So finally, you close the module in module. So this is a simple program of uh, one is eight demos. So first you draw the block diagram. So after drawing the block diagram, you can write the truth table. So with the help of the truth table, you can draw the logical diagram. So this logical diagram is implemented in a very large HTML code. So as you said, first you write the module, module name, and what are the variables used in the logical diagram. You just declare here. Then you assign the input variables and output variables. Then using the assign statement D or two D seven. Finally, you can close the end module. So thanks for watching my channel. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.